So like, let's say that this motor was in a chassis and I just wanted to change a transmission seal that was leaking or a crank seal. Uh, we got a couple different ways we can do that. When you guys did your classes earlier and we took the cases out, remember the videos that we had where you take and you'd come in here and pull that seal out with a seal puller? People will still try to take this and you, uh, you've got this transmission one that's just kind of ready to fall out here, so I'm gonna use it as an example. But you'll take and get in here and kind of try to hook in there and just go ahead and try to you know pry it out. See, but what's the risk of taking this sharp edge and being next to that shaft? There's a chance we nick it or scratch it or whatnot, so we don't really like to do that so much. So my favorite way to do this is to use a slide hammer, like so. And what we'll do is we'll drill a hole, and we're gonna put a wood screw in here, and then grab. we could grab onto the wood screw with like this pair of vice grips, and we could slide hammer it out and hopefully pop it out. We're gonna drill this set up here. The thing with these center punches is what I don't want to do is drive it in. So I'm going, to, I'm going to see how this goes in like one corner here. Okay, that went really well and the seal did not move at all. So that means it's in there pretty good. Okay, that seal was in there pretty good. So let's see here. You see it coming. Mm -hmm. Boom. But what do you think? Is that a neat way to do that? Yeah. yeah. So keep your flashlight on there. And now you'll see we got our metal filings here. I could take like this. How am I going to get that seal back over that shaft? Take your new seal, obviously be super clean. Get it on here. Have that like so. And then, I mean, this is just a piece of electrical conduit. It still has just the end on it or whatnot. So then you could come across here, smack that with your rubber mallet, dra drive it nice and square, and that's how you get over the shaft. A lot of people will take, when they get to this point, since they're not doing something like this, they'll get the seal on there, and then they'll take like a, a punch, if you will, hitting it with a hammer, kind of tapping it around this. I mean, gosh, I did that for years as an early technician. I think there's tons of us that have done it that way. But I just want you to think about this. There is a better way. Does that make sense? So that's our cool little tip of the day. Jackie, I'm excited to see you working on your project here, and I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this. Keep at it. Make it a great day. Keep wrenching.